Hello everyone, this is Brady with Lewis Motor Company and today we're taking a look at our 2006 Chevrolet C4500 fiber splicing bucket truck. This truck has 185,000 original miles on an 8.1 Vortec gasoline engine which starts right up and you can hear that now. It's got an automatic transmission and Altec boom. It's about a 34 and a half foot working height. It's got a nice fiber splicing box in the back. Robert's gonna go ahead and operate the boom in just a minute here. But the truck itself, it's got 185, so it does have some small defects, minor imperfection, cosmetic issues, but overall a presentable truck that goes down the road as it should. It does have deep tread remaining on all four corners. The tires look like they're in nice shape. A little bit of surface rust, a little bit of rust in some areas, but it's not the worst one we've seen. In decent condition underneath. You can see there. But the truck has plenty of power. It goes down the road like it should. Does have some power options in here. Power windows and door locks. Driver seats in nice condition. Now it is a Kodiak, so it's got the typical Kodiak type stuff. So that door handle is somewhat fallen off, and just shows a little wear inside here. It's got nice ice cold air conditioning in here. We've got 184,904 miles at the time of this video. Now the brake light is illuminated just because the parking brake is actually on. AM, FM radio, heat and air conditioning. We've got our PTO switch. There's our SSI traffic manager. It's a strobe light off the back. It is programmable uh, to change the pattern that you want. So it is working. Interior is in nice condition. The seats are in good shape. The floor is a nice black color. A little center console here to put some things in. We've got our overhead switches. Now this power inverter has been pulled. We did not pull it, but it was pulled when we bought the truck. So it does not have a power inverter in the back, but it does have some beacon lights, scene lights. Uh, there is a small fan in the back, strobe lights and some dome lights in the back. Travel height says 11 foot two inches. That's what this one is. Well, looking at the box, it's in nice shape. Don't notice any major damage on the box. You can see the previous company, that, which was Optimum. They had their paint on the side, but uh, not nothing too crazy. Tires are all in good condition with deep tread remaining. Two fuel tanks. Uh, you can see Robert's going high in the sky. Boom, works 100%. We've got strobe lights working lights throughout this thing rear step platform allowing you to get inside the box or inside the bucket very easily but he's going all around boom functions 100 percent from both the upper and lower controls rear platforms in nice shape but this box is in good shape we've got side access on this side you can see what I'm talking about, just some paint on the sides from the previous company. Again, this van was owned by Optimum. What a decent truck, does have some miles, does have some use, but it's one that works. Tires are all in good shape. Take a look at the frame over here. Robert's going around the world there. testing our stow function we'll take a look inside here now this is a fiber splicing box but I've had people buy these trucks and put them to use for holiday lighting just different type of storage for tools and materials so it's really very versatile now those shelves have seen better shape they've been in better shape in their lifetime I would recommend just replacing or taking those out we've got our lower controls there it's a remote that comes all the way out on a cord it gives you plenty of leeway to operate from the outside we do have a fiber splicing workstation there now if you did have an inverter usually they're hooked up right here and it will actually power those outlets and some lights in here uh, but in order to do that you'd have to hook up an inverter again and probably do a little TLC to the inside here but inside here it's about five foot two inches so I am ducked over a little bit but it's not uncomfortable and most of the time, if you're fiber splicing, you're going to be sitting down anyways. Or, you know, if you're storing tools or material, you don't really need that walk-in height too much. But 
still easily walk around and go through the truck. So again, this is an outtake unit, about 34 foot, six inches as a working height. So where he's up there working in the bucket is 34 foot, six inches. But as you can see, the cab's in nice condition. No major fiberglass damage on the front end here. The doors are in good shape, little small scuffs, nicks and things of that such, but not a whole lot of rust on this truck, but it does have some surface rust on the frame, kind of what you'd expect for a semi-northern truck. Well, we go through the trucks, we check them out, all the lights, brakes, tires, do an oil change, make sure she's ready to go down the road for you. We do send a lot of these trucks out on the on the road. Most people drive them away, so we try to do our best to make sure that they make the trip. But this one runs good, does everything it's supposed to do. It operates as it should. You just saw that. Robert went high in the sky, 34 and a half foot working height, upper and lower controls. This is one of the last fiber splicing trucks I have that's set up like this. I've been getting some other ones in, but they're pretty much few and far between. Fiber splicing's hot right now, so everything that gets listed pretty much gets sold almost immediately. So check availability of this one. It is available right now, no wait times. It's on our lot. You can leave a deposit on it and in this truck today. But you can check it out for sale on eBay. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a message. I'd be happy to help you. I can ship this truck throughout the United States. Call me and I'll give you a quote on that. We are Lewis Motor Company. We're located in Clarksville, Maryland, which is just outside of Baltimore, Maryland. For any other questions on this truck or any other trucks have listed for sale, please do not hesitate to call me. I've got this truck and another one just like it, but that is it. That is it for these trucks. So if you like them, if you like the setup of them, please do not hesitate. Probably going to be sold quick, just like everything else in this market. Otherwise, guys, thank you for watching.